Good happy Tuesday afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my news report right here on the Riley King Network. Staffing concerns delay opening of new women's prison. The new women's prison in Concord is on budget and on schedule, but it won't be opening on time, officials said Tuesday. The problem is that there won't be enough employees available to staff the facility. New Hampshire's low unemployment rate of 2.9% tied for fourth lowest in the country is one factor in finding qualified candidates. But the Department of Corrections said another problem is that the funding for the new positions wasn't available until the beginning of this month. At more than 100,000 square foot feet, the new woman's prison is much larger than the old one. The facility will require more than 100 people to keep it running, compared to 35 in the current woman's prison, officials said. The Department of Corrections requested funding for 74 new positions, but legislature funded 55. In addition to corrections officer, the new prison will need nurses, teachers, and maintenance workers. Officials said that the department has been doing what it can to secure staffing, but it has been unable to fill the job, so it is considering hiring a professional marketing firm. Loins said that correction officers still need about three months of training after they are hired before they are able to work on their own. The hiring delays mean the prison will likely open sometime next year instead of this year, Loins said. Available jobs can be found at the Department of Corrections website. And that does it for my news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday. Goodbye, everyone.